Hi and welcome students. In this Microsoft Word 2016 tutorial, I'm going to show you how to open and move around in your Word documents. Let's get started. So first I'm going to launch Word and you're going to see along the left side over here I have all of my recent files. These are basically organized by how often you use Word and so I, I've used Word today so I see my files from today. I see yesterday's files this week and even some older files down here. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to open up other documents and if you click on this right here open other documents it's actually going to look for documents on your computer. Now if you're already in a Word document I'm going to show you how to do that as well. We go to the file tab and it'll take you into open and this again is that pane that shows all of your recent files as well as all of your opening options. I click this one down right here browse and that's going to open up any other files that I have on my computer. And so by default, it puts me in my documents folder, but the file I'm looking for is on my desktop. So I navigate to that file and I double click it to open it up. Now, when I open it up here, you're going to see what the file looks like. And I'm going to show you some uh, different tricks and tips using your keyboard to actually move around in your Word documents. So I'm going to move my cursor. I'm going to zoom in just a little bit so you guys can see it a little bit easier. Okay, and I'm going to move my cursor and click right after the word regulations. And so after I click um, after the word regulations, if I ever want to move my cursor to the beginning of the line without actually having to click, and the reason this might be useful is if I'm typing something, it's going to be faster for me to actually use the keyboard than it will to take my hands off of the keyboard, over the mouse, click, and then put it back on the keyboard. So to move to the beginning of the line, all you have to do is press the home key on your keyboard. Now if you have a full size keyboard it's usually located above your arrow buttons and if you press home it's going to take you to the beginning of the line with your cursor. Okay. Alternatively if you press the button right below home on most keyboards that's the end button not the letter N but END right and you press END that's going to take you to the end of the line. You can see my cursor is now over there and I haven't even clicked anything. Okay, So there are some other options to move around inside of uh, uh, Word and to move to the beginning of the word you can see my cursor is now at the beginning and now at the end. So to jump words you hold down control on your keyboard and you press the left or right arrow keys. When you press the left or right arrow keys that's going to jump words. So that's pretty cool for easily uh, jumping between words in your document. Alright, so that's uh, some different keyboard methods for uh, moving between lines, but what if I actually want to go to the end of the entire document? All I have to do is hold the control key on my keyboard and press end. Again, that's END, not end, or uh, not the letter N. And so I move to the end of the document. Now if I want to quickly move to other areas of the document, let's say the middle of the document, then I recommend the scroll bar over here on the right side. You just click on that and that'll move me to the middle of the document. If I want to move to the beginning of the document, that's control home. All right, so uh, control home will move me to the very beginning. So now we've kind of learned some keyboard shortcuts to quickly move around throughout our document. So now what we're going to do is um, we're going to open up the navigation pane. So go to the view tab and go to the views group or sorry the show group and you'll see this button for navigation pane and if you click that it's going to open up the navigation pane over here on the left side of your screen. Now the cool thing about the navigation pane is this is actually going to um, give you some different options for clicking between your document and I see right here that landscaping is a heading and if I click on that it's going to take me to exactly where landscaping is. Alright so the uh, landscaping is right here and that's listed as number seven on our navigation pane. So that's how you jump directly to a heading. So the headings are right here, but there's also something that says pages right here. And what that does is that breaks down your document into pages. All right. And so what I could do with pages is I could quickly um, jump to any page on my document. And all I have to do is click on that page. And so there's page five. If I click on page five, you'll see my cursor goes right up to the top of page five. Okay. If I ever don't want the navigation pane open, I usually only open it for a little bit to navigate around my document, but it does take up a lot of space. So I could either go in between my document, kind of uh, reduce the size, Okay. if I go in between the navigation pane and my document, or I could close it entirely by clicking on the X right here. Alright, so there's one other trick that I wanted to show you to easily navigate with your files, and that's right up here in the file tab. If you go to open right here, 
you're going to see that navigate files is now listed at the top because we opened it at the beginning of this video. So now that it's listed at the top, if I use this file all the time and I don't want it to fall in these uh, rankings of newest to oldest files, I could actually pin this file to my um, backstage menu or this view right here. And if I hover over navigate files, you'll notice this little pin right here. And if I click this, boom, it's going to put it into a separate category called pinned. And this is where I could save all of my uh, most used files. That way I never have to look through them. I just pin them to right here. And then to re remove the pin, you just click unpin. So, and it'll send it back into the regular list. So you could pin files and unpin files. That way you can easily navigate around and find the files that you're looking for and the files that you use most often. So hopefully this video has helped you uh, a little bit with your navigation between uh, lines and paragraphs within Word as well as how to uh, find and pin your files in the backstage open menu. If this video has been helpful for you, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to the channel. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video and have a great rest of your day.